In today's video, we're gonna take a look at some of the safety features available on the all new Toyota Tundra, both standard features as well as options. The Tundra, of course, comes with your basic safety features that you're gonna find in any new vehicle sold in the United States today. It's got three point seat belts. We've got anchors for car seats, child locks, analog brakes. Um, traction control, stability control. It's got airbags, eight total, one for the driver and the front passenger. We've also got knee and curtain airbags. It's got tire pressure monitoring system. So all those basic things that you expect in any new vehicle, of course it has those. But we also get the Toyota Safety Sense 2.5 system or TSS 2.5, which is a suite of pretty advanced uh, features that come standard across the Tundra lineup. And then there's also some options that we get as you move up to higher and trim package that really enhance the overall safety. The Tundra does come standard with a backup camera and this model's got the larger 14 inch multimedia screen. So it's a really large view when you have it in reverse. Even with the standard eight inch screen, that's pretty large. So you've got a pretty good view. Go ahead and put it in reverse. You can see you've got the backup camera here on this side. This model is equipped with the uh, panoramic view monitoring system as well as the multi-terrain monitor. And so we also get the overhead 360 degree view here. The vehicle is also equipped with cross traffic alert. The way that that works is when you're backing up, if there's a vehicle coming from either direction, you'll hear a little sound notifying you that. You can hear it right there. And then these yellow chevrons will also illuminate to let you know which direction the vehicle is coming from. You'll notice on every new Tundra that up here on the grill, there's a little black rectangular box. And that is actually a radar that serves several functions. For starters, it's part of the pre-collision system, which means that it detects vehicles and pedestrians, provides audible and visual notifications to the driver. It can also provide automatic braking to avoid those collisions. And then also in certain situations where the driver is making an evasive uh, emergency maneuver, the vehicle will also assist with steering to prevent potential rollover situations. This uh, radar also functions with the adaptive cruise control. The way that adaptive cruise control works is when you set that, um, if there's a vehicle in front of you that speeds up or slows down, the vehicle will speed up and slow down with that vehicle in front of you. It's now a full range system, which means that you can set it at say 60 miles an hour. And if that vehicle in front of you comes to a complete stop, your vehicle will come to a complete stop. And then if that vehicle in front of you goes back up to 60 miles an hour, your vehicle will also go all the way back up to 60 miles an hour. Another standard feature with TSS is the road sign assist system. This will pick up certain sign information and display it inside the vehicle. So for example, when you enter a school speed zone, it will give us a little notification up here on the infotainment screen, letting you know that you're entering a school zone. And then on main instrument cluster, it also displays the current speed limit. We've also got automatic high beams with preceding and oncoming vehicle detection. And the way that that works is basically if there's an oncoming vehicle that it detects, it will dim the high beams. And then once that vehicle has gone past, it will turn them up bright again. I've been reluctant to test out this system because I don't want to risk actually blinding the oncoming traffic, but there have been one or two times that I forgot to turn off the high beams and it hasn't done it on its own yet. So I assume that the system works okay, but I haven't really fully tested it out just yet. All Tundras also have the safety connect system for emergency assistance. You'll see the SOS button right here. We've got stolen vehicle locator, roadside assistance, and auto collision notification, but this is a subscription service that you'll need to pay for after the trial period expires. We also get a lane departure warning system with TSS. This will give us an audible and visual notification when you are crossing either a center line or a fog line, and the vehicle can also steer you back into your lane. So you'll see there as I try to cross the center lane that my steering wheel took control and steered me back into my lane. There's also a lane trace assist system, which is similar. Um, you activate it ahead of time. You do have to keep a hand on the steering wheel, but the vehicle will basically keep you centered in your lane as you're driving. And so it takes a little bit less driver input, essentially. Let's say that you're on a long drive and the road's a little bit off camber, or there's just little mild you know, imperfections in the road. The vehicle will just kind of adjust the steering back and forth a little bit. Again, you do have to keep your hand on the steering wheel and you know it will shut off the system if you don't 
Um, but it kind of eases with that process of just keeping centered in your lane. I will say that neither of these systems is foolproof. I found many times where I can easily cross the center line or the fog line without the system doing anything to prevent it. So I think that it really only works best when you've got a really clean road surface with really bright paint. If there is salt or cinders or road debris, if the lines are faded, the system is gonna have limited um, effectiveness. We've also got a rear seat reminder, which is intended to avoid situations where maybe you leave a child or a pet unattended in the rear seat unknowingly. Uh, the way that this system works is if within 10 minutes of starting the vehicle, you open up one of the rear doors, the vehicle is going to take note of that. And then when you turn off the engine, you're going to get a little visual display on the instrument cluster saying, check the back seat, and then a little chime along with that to get your attention. Another feature that's optional on the Tundra is the blind spot monitoring system. I do have it on my truck and on both side mirrors, I've got a little LED indicator that will illuminate when there's a vehicle either in your blind spot or quickly approaching your blind spot. If that is already illuminated and you turn on your blinker, it's gonna blink rapidly to again, warn you that there's something in your blind spot if you're about to make a lane change or a turn. The Tundra is also available with parking assist and automatic braking. This optional system includes parking sensors on the front and rear bumper that will beep to notify you if you're getting close to an object. And we've also got the automatic braking, which will prevent us from running into this tree, whether we're going forward or backward. <laughs> There you go, you can see the automatic brakes engage going forward. That's getting closer than I'd like. There we go. There's also a number of safety features that are gonna be really handy when towing. Obviously the standard backup camera is gonna be really helpful for lining up with a trailer. The panoramic view monitoring system is gonna be another aid that helps in those situations. We've got the trailer assist, which uses the vehicle stability control system uh, to basically eliminate or reduce trailer sway when the vehicle senses that that is occurring. On models equipped with the trailer brake controller, we also get the trailer merge warning system, which interfaces with the blind spot monitoring system, you enter the length of the trailer and the vehicle can help to identify objects within your blind spot for not only the truck, but also your trailer. And then we've got the trailer backup guide with straight path assist, which is going to help you back up the trailer in a straight line. Basically you align the trailer in the direction that you want it to go. Then you let the vehicle computer take over and it will keep the trailer going in a straight line. Another cool safety feature that's available on the all new Tundra is the panoramic view monitoring system. If we push this view button right here, you'll see up here on the screen when we're in park, it'll give us a 360 degree bird's eye view of the truck. Obviously when you're parked, you could turn the vehicle on, push this button, it gives you a good view of whether there's something maybe you missed around the vehicle. We can also push this button and it will bring it down to ground level and give you that 360 degree view. Now, if we put the vehicle into drive and we push that button again, it's gonna give us some more really cool views. For starters on the right-hand side of the screen here, we've got a 360 degree aerial view of the truck looking down. So that's really handy again to see if there's anything around you. Because we're in drive, it's giving us a front view camera. If we put in reverse, that's gonna default to reverse. And then we've got the little outline here uh, letting you know what's behind you. We've also got parking sensors that will beep to notify you if you get close to something. And if we turn the steering wheel, that's gonna show you your path of travel. So that's pretty handy. Likewise in drive, if we turn the steering wheel, it's gonna show us path of travel of our wheels. Now we can also manually go through a few screens here, We're currently on the front view, but we can go to the backup view. We've got our side mirrors looking forward on the driver and passenger side. We can also do those looking backward and we can also check out the bed of the truck while we're driving. This button right here is the multi-train monitoring system. Uh, with this, we get a split screen that now shows us three views. Again, we've got our front view camera and our side mirrors looking forward, side mirrors looking backward and backup camera. And then uh, we've got our backup camera. We've got our inclinometer here as well. And then this one is pretty cool too. I do need to start driving before you see the full view. On the sides, we've got our side mirrors looking forward. Then we've got our front view. And you can see now that I'm moving, we've also got a view underneath the vehicle. And so if there's any sort of an obstacle when you're off-roading, a rock or a tree stump or something, you can align the tires where you want them to be to try to avoid those potential obstacles. 
So that's a rundown of some of the safety features that come either standard or are available as options on the all new Toyota Tundra. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and for more videos of the all new Toyota Tundra, be sure to subscribe. In the meantime, thanks for watching.